This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting color fundamentals in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to use the new comparison view in Premiere. Here's our two men, Fred and Eric, and they are walking through the country fields having a conversation. Eric is falling in love with a woman and he's not exactly sure how to tell her. So they're having a conversation about this. Now the footage as it's shot looks pretty darn cold if you ask me. But maybe I want to do something to try and pick things up a bit. So let's put our playhead here and let's apply a look. We'll apply blue cold. It's a little bit green. Let's try blue ice. That's worse. I'll buy that. And then we'll click Creative and we'll go to Vignette and we'll dial in a vignette to make sure our eye goes to the center of the frame and pull the size in just a bit. Make sure we focus on these guys. To see what it looks like without there, I've turned the effect off by clicking the FX button or on. Definitely different feeling. So now we go to our second shot. Hmm. How can I make sure that my shots are matching or look the way that I want them to look? Well, you go to the wrench icon and you change the view from composite video to comparison view. And this opens up this screen. I'm going to press the tilde key to blow it up full screen. The comparison view shows us the entire timeline on the left and the shot our playhead is plugged in on the right. Now, I can't use this for playing anything on the left. I use the left hand side as a reference. Now, I can reference it in a couple of different ways. I can click here and do side to side or here and do top and bottom or here and I see two complete images. If it's side to side, I can grab this line in the middle and drag it to figure out how I want stuff aligned. If I want to change the position of the pictures, click here and they trade places. But for me, I like looking at this way. By the way, see this button right here? This switches to before and after. So before is on the left and after is on the right. It's a way of comparing the same shot so you can see what you're doing. Well, let's go back to here, turn off before and after, press the tilde key to go back. And now I'm going to apply an effect. Let's go to creative and we'll apply, let's see, what should I do? I want to do something that's cold. Blue, cold. It's so green. No, let's try blue ice. I like blue ice. And then we'll go down here and we'll add a vignette. Tighten it up. And now I can start to compare my two images to say, do I like this or do I not? Tilde key and say, yes, I do. And notice here I've got the comparison view. Let's go to before and after here. Isn't that cool? By the way, to get out of the comparison view, click the wrench and just say composite video and you're back to where you left off. But I've got this shot here. Be nice if I could copy the effects from one shot to another. Select the clip that has this, the effects you want. Go up to edit, copy, keyboard shortcut is command C. Go to the shot that you want to apply it to. Wait, let's try that again. Command C, go to the shot you want to apply it to, go up to edit, and notice a choice appears called paste attributes. I don't want to change motion, I don't want to change opacity, I don't want to change time remapping. Those are most often checked at the beginning. I just want to change the color settings. So we'll change the color settings, and notice now this is the same color as these other scenes, so they now play much more seamlessly together and give me the illusion of the weather being even colder than it was when I first shot the scene. The comparison view makes it really easy to compare shots, the shot before, the shot after, to compare it to the shot that you're looking at now and change effects and get them so they blend smoothly from one to the other because sometimes you may need to tweak an effect 
so it's not quite the same between one shot and the other for the two shots to look smooth. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting color fundamentals in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 310. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.